Hello, this is Joe and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be capturing first light with my new ZWO ASI 2600 MM Pro camera. Oh, it's Glenn. Hey Glenn. Hey Joe, you alright mate? Yeah, man, how you doing? I'm alright, thank you very much. And uh, what have you been up to? You up to anything? Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm rattling off some flats right now. I, I just got a 2600 MM Pro camera. Well, I kind of knew you'd got that. <laughs> and that's why I was ringing well, you. Well, yeah, from my videos <laughs> with the filters. Well, I've had my... I'm actually... Yeah, sorry. Um, I was actually getting ready to, to actually do some imaging for the first time with it. So I'm uh, taking some flats now well, to get prepared for it. Just when you thought you could uh, settle down nice and quietly with your new camera, because of course you know I now have my 2600 up and running because the filters finally arrived, um, I wondered whether you wanted to work on something with me. Oh, uh, dude, that sounds great. I've got a kind of a crazy moon and I only got a couple clear nights to get a first light, so maybe we could put our time together on something and okay. have a better image. Well, I don't know how this suits you. I know it's start of galaxy season. Um, I had the uh, 294 on the CT10, and I was taking subs of the Croc Eye Galaxy, Croc's Eye, uh, Messier 94. Um, yeah. I've, I've got a I've got a bunch of hours on that already, about half a dozen or so. Um, and I was going to carry on with that with the 2600 and my new Antlia filters. So I was taking uh, LRGB and some HA. Oh, cool. So what do you reckon? Do you want to join me on that and then we could stick it all together? Yeah. Oh, that, that sounds awesome. Yeah. I would love to do that. I, mean, I only have about two nights and... Uh, before I have a week or two of clouds. So. Yeah, I know your weather's been a bit, well, ours has been a bit like that too, but I've I've got some nice data and I've actually got a few nights coming up, so I think I can get quite a bit. Um, and it'll be really nice, Joe, because we've both got the uh, same camera and filters, so there'll be a really nice match there. The only difference is your Edge and my CT10. Yeah, well, we're not too too far apart with my reducer i'm around 1400 millimeters yeah that's it i'm 12, 12 right? that's it yeah it's only 200 yeah. mil out yeah that'd be great all right mate that sounds really good awesome man okay oh, that sounds great that's what i'll work on tonight and i'll let you know how things go thanks Glenn. all right man i'll speak to you later all right joe bye all mate right. Hey, bye so i thought i'd open up stellarium real quick and just show you the where m94 is located for me and that's in the northeast part of the sky about 7 30 tonight and what's really cool about this galaxy um it is in the canis venatici constellation which is kind of cool to say and uh, i'm going to zoom in here a little bit and look at the Crocsi galaxy because what I like about this galaxy is that it's got an inner and an outer ring and there are a few galaxies like this but not too many and what I'm hoping to do is be able to catch this outer ring and I'm just guessing because I've never shot it before that it's going to be uh, really easily caught in the luminance layer but I don't know which color is going to bring it out, if it's going to be red, green, or blue the most. And maybe none of them will, I'm not sure, um, which might pose a problem in post-processing. But I do hope that I'm able to capture this ring without blowing out the core of the galaxy. What's really impressive to me though is that I don't really think that anyone has a solid answer as to why it's got an inner and an outer ring. Uh, my first thought was is that, that it collided with another galaxy. And in reading some, doing some research on the Crocsi galaxy or M94, um, that was one of the possibilities, but they said that it was probably ruled out and that what they think is happening is that the inner disk uh, is an oval distortion which led to the creation of the galaxy's peripheral disk 
And to be completely honest, I have no idea um, what that actually means. And here's the first sub from my 2600mm Pro. It's in the red filter of the Crocsi Galaxy. It's got a little bit of vignetting, but I think that'll get taken care of in calibration frames. And the scene's not real great tonight, and the SNR from the guiding is showing that. All right, so far so good. Everything's looking great. Hey, go ahead. Hi, Joe. You all right, mate? Yeah, man, I thought I'd just catch up with you real quick. I wanted to uh, let you know that I got a bunch of LRGB last night. And uh, oh. tonight I'm going to plan on getting some HA and some other stuff. But um, I've got a, I've got one of my images here to show you. Oh, cool. Let's have a look. All right. Yeah. So this is, oh, I have to get out of the way, uh, one, oh. one luminance sub at 120 seconds. I decided to go with 120. And, nice. Uh, yeah, I got a little bit of. It's got some nice. Here, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure that'll calibrate right out, but yeah, it's looking all right. Well, well, I've had a few issues because the moon has been really bright, um, and it was with my light pollution as well. It's meant that my LRGB I've struggled, um, and I've got LRGB. I've got a couple of hours of each, uh, but I've ended up with seven hours of HA because. Seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so basically because the moon was causing me so many problems i was okay with the ha so what i did was i left the ha running all night at 10 minute subs and ended up with seven <laughs> hours of it let me show you actually i've got uh that's oh, the ha wow. Dude. Yeah, I'll make it a bit bigger oh yeah that's just ha that's so there's really a lot high. There's a lot in there, but I've got seven hours of it, so. Okay, well, um, I, I'm not gonna. Use, I'm not gonna take any. I'm just gonna concentrate then on LRGB. Um, well, I think, I think that would be. We've got our HA covered for our collab. <laughs> that would be great, Joe, because that's what I'm lacking. I've got L, I've got LRGB, but not enough. And and the HA when I add it, it overpowers it completely. So it would be good if we've got some more LRGB. <laughs> it makes it nice. Uh, excellent. All right. Well, that's coming along nicely. Yeah. All right. I'm excited. I guess uh, another night or two, and well, one more night for me, and then the clouds come back. So okay. Um, well, let me know. That. Yeah, let me know what you've got, and then we'll get our data together, and we'll have a look and see what we can come up with. Awesome, man. Sounds All great. Right. Yeah, exciting. Okay, man. I'll talk to you later, dude. Yeah. Take care, Joe. Thanks for calling, mate. All right. Bye. Bye. So it's been a crazy three days. Uh, three days ago, it was 70 degrees out here. And I didn't even have a jacket on or anything. And then the next day it snowed, but that night it was clear. And then last night it was clear. So now the snow's all melted. You can't even tell it snowed here. Uh, it was pretty crazy this time of year. We had a great time working together as usual. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you to Glenn for helping me get first light on my 2600mm Pro. I was very impressed with the results. Uh, it took quite some time of both of us working on the image to get it to come out. It was a tough one to process because of the inner and outer ring of the galaxy, but I really hope you enjoy the image. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video.